tell them about the Twinkie. Super action here guys, let's break this thing down and see how we did it. Okay, so to start with, I really need to come up with a better way to mount my Alice frame, which I'm working on. And I've seen a lot of videos on different folks that make new boards for the back of this Proton Pack from Spirit Halloween. Right now, I'm just using zip ties. They may not show up that great. It's not the best solution in the world, but let's get these all cut off. And then I'm going to open up the back of this thing and show you the innards. Okay, there are a total of five screws that you have to remove in the back of this Spirit Halloween version 2 Proton Pack. I believe it's the same for version 1 as well. So the screws in mine were located here, here, down here, right over here, and then there's one there. And once you do that, you can pull this piece of fabric off. And essentially this is just a piece of cardboard covered fabric and this is what a lot of people will replace these with with wood and then I'll put mounts on it so I can better mount the um, Alice frame to it. So looking at the inside now I'm gonna come back to you guys in a minute with a different view. Okay I'm gonna try and keep the camera as steady as I can here to do this because I have to hold it in my hand but let me just pan down first and show you the insides of this pack again with the uh, sponge face McGee mods from eBay and I have the spirit lights pack and then the spirit wand pack and unfortunately the wand is like a nightmare to disassemble so i, I really wish i had filmed that um, there's a lot of internals that go into it and pieces that go into it but at the very least i'll show you guys the the pack mods here and what was done so first and foremost the battery that comes with it is a four three or four double a battery that the spirit pack takes um, I, you have to pull that out and you have to replace it with a better battery. So this is a lithium ion battery, I believe. Uh, yeah, lithium ion battery that I got on eBay. They're all over the place. This is a DC 1298A and it's 12.6 volts DC is the input and the output is 12.6 to 18 volts DC or 9,800 milliamp hours. The 9,800 milliamp hours is the one I wanted because it will last a long time. So if you're running around at a Halloween party or something like that, you don't have to worry about your batteries dying. The other thing to look for on a particular battery pack like this is the charge cable so this came with a way to charge it and you don't have to take the back of the pack off to charge it which is nice i can plug it in this particular battery when i bought it off the user came with a charger as well a wall charger the other thing that's really important on these batteries is the switch so this has a dedicated on off switch right here and that will allow you to save a lot of battery juice um, if you're not using the pack, I just basically go in there and turn off the battery, which is really nice. So, and then I had a 3D print made here that allows you to mod your inside of your pack here and then hold this battery securely in place. These are on Thingiverse. If you look for Spirit Pack Battery Holder or something like that, they come up and if you have access to a 3D printer or a friend who does, you can get these 3D printed. To put those in, you do have to modify the inside of the existing battery holder. So there's a lot of plastic in here that basically has to be taken out and cut away with a Dremel or some other tool. I used a Dremel and a file and just went slowly and took my time. And you have to cut away quite a bit of this down here to be able to mount this battery. But once it's in there, it's really nice because you can access it from the flap that's already there for the Spirit Pack. Now you have the Spirit Soundboard. And this is the motherboard here that will control all the sounds as well as take the input from the pack lights or from the wand upgrade kit so the wand upgrade kit you're going to feed through this wire loom it comes all the way around here i did a little bit of wire management and then that feeds all the way up into here and that will plug into this board so this board allows you to control uh your this is where you plug your wand in you have some dip switches here that i'll go over you've got your volume potentiometer right here and again, we talked about that in the last video. So I mounted that to a custom 3D printed resistor, like an old Dale resistor, it looks like. And then it's installed in this opening right here, down in there is where I put that uh, potentiometer. And that will allow you to control the volume. So that plugs in right here. You have an external audio input. So if you wanted to plug in um, something else, uh, an MP3 player or something, I think you can plug it in right there. This, I believe, is your speaker connection. This is your speaker connection right here that powers this much larger 
uh, spirit blaster sound, uh, spirit blaster speaker rather. And this is what really all the sounds are generated from is right in, right in here in the back of the pack. The existing spirit packs sounds came from a tiny little speaker down there, which I kind of taped over uh, and tried to fill in a little bit. It's, it's not the best job, but it works. So um, the other things that are on here then are the battery inputs, which are right here. So here's where you'll plug your battery into. This is where you plug your spirit lights into. So there's a receptacle right here, and then that goes into a, the end of the spirit light board. All this stuff actually fits in here really nice. They've done a really nice job with just allowing you to kind of almost plug and play. Not super plug and play, but for the most part, it's drop the pieces where they tell you to, tack, it, tack down each corner with a little bit of hot glue, and then there's some screws that hold it onto mounting boards here. And so this is like your master control board, and then you've got your two different dip switches. And one switch is just for test, so that's shorted out right now. If you want to run through all the different sounds, pack lights and stuff like that you can do all that and then the other one here is for hum or no hum so I have it at no hum so what that means is once you turn the wand on um, it'll make that initial startup noise and then a short hum burst will sound and then after that there's basically like no hum it just shuts off and the pack is quiet um, if you if you don't short that and you complete it with this jumper you will constantly have that humming sound coming from the back of the pack so that's personal preference um, I just didn't want it on all the time. The other thing then is there's a dip switch on, oh, it's in the wand, but there's a dip switch in the wand that allows you to control um, slime mode or uh, I think they call it movie mode. And I chose to do slime mode because as I showed you in the previous video, it's cool. It opens up the aperture and gives you a couple more choices there with what to do and what to look for. So at a real high level you're going to mount all of these components here the speaker goes here it's fit into this special groove you do have to kind of hot glue everything in just to keep it from moving around which isn't a big deal um, and then this board here mounts to the to the uh, hard uh, cardboard or like a press board uh, frame for the speaker and then as i said before the speaker spirit lights pack mounts in this cavity right here your volume potentiometer mounts right back in there and then is sandwiched with either the end of the existing pack or this new Dale resistor. And then you have the lights outputs which feed down into here. And here's where you have your cyclotron lights. And again, these are labeled a special way. So you'll have them going clockwise or you can have them going counterclockwise depending on which way you orient um, the, these in the pack. So I, it's not going to be a super long video. I don't want to get into crazy detail. I really wish I could have taken the wand apart again. But like I said, that wand is a lot of work to get apart and back together again. And if I get maybe some more subscribers or a lot of comments and people are like, hey, look, this is great, but I really do need to see the inside of this wand. I can't figure X, Y, and Z out. Um, I will try and take apart that wand again. Um, there is a lot of components in there. There's another board that goes in there, like I said, a whole lot of lights, little LEDs that have to feed into the end of the wand and then go all the way through here where I showed you the lights lighting up before. So again, I just uh, wanted to get at least the back of this thing off and show you guys what the insides look like. Hopefully this helps. All this stuff can be found on eBay if you're looking to upgrade your spirit pack. And I appreciate the, the comments down below if you have anything to say, any suggestions. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that like button, the usual stuff for eBay guys. And uh, thank you, everybody. Appreciate the views. Super Action Guy out.